Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Blue and burgundy wherever you look, hymns ringing loud and proud. This is what it is to be in the Camp Nou. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Luis Suarez. He can score from anywhere, Peter. He's capable of the sublime, but he's also not afraid to use his physical attributes to dominate defenders or to scrap for those loose balls. He's got so much will to win. That's bound to inspire his new teammates and, hopefully for him, intimidate his opposition. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. So, it's away we go then. He goes long. He's had a good look and given a corner. been clubbed away. Ball has crossed the line and it's a throw. Vidal. Jordi Alba. He's got away. Lofted into the middle. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Up for a header! Vidal plays it. He's gone for it! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Nelson Semedo simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And through to the goalkeeper. Jordi Alba very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Nelson Semedo. It is quite a run he's making here. And it's Roberto. Box it away. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from the forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. There's a lot of movement up front. Yeah, I have noticed that those uh, front players are working very hard, dropping deeper. Yeah, and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much switching of position. Keeping shape is, is much harder. A really good feat from him. Shoots! No, he's missed it. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Just brushed off the ball there. It is deadlocked. Hoists it forward. Plays it out to the flank. Gets it back. Griezmann. It's all 
still a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Look, good possession is one thing, but they seem as if they're, they're passing time at the moment, keeping the ball for the sake of it when they know it has to be moved with much more attacking punch. And here's Suarez. Vital. Roberto. Nelson Semedo. Roberto. 30 minutes gone. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And here's Messi. Has a goal! Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are in front. That was a given. It always was. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they paid the price and deserved it. Barcelona draw first blood here. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Pamplona going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Gets wrestled off the ball. Now it's Griezmann. Griezmann gets away from his opponent. Griezmann. Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. Goes down, but nothing given. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. And it's Messi. Vidal. He'll try from distance. Sale harmlessly passed. Vidal certainly caught it well enough, but that was never really going to trouble the keeper. That's a promising ball. It's got through. Oh, that's neat. Puts in a cross. And the whistle goes for half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. <laughs> Reflections on the first half? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Barcelona leading a country game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. And now the breakaway, it could be in here, and Messi! And in it goes! Two to the good, they have breathing space! Even 
some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Barcelona get themselves a two-goal cushion. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Longley goes looking. Suarez goes on a charge down the left. Well weighted. Looks to play him in. But, uh, a minor communications breakdown. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Longley. Going through. It's the through ball. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Messi looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply shapes to shoot! And it's there! And the lead is extended still further. Simplicity itself. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from Milan City. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Good idea, just poorly executed. Longley. Vidal. Messi. Suarez is flagged offside. Gets it upfield. Nelson Semedo. And it's got through. He's left his man. Turns and goes back. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Roberto, and it's Messi. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. And here's Suarez. Roberto, good take, Luis Suarez! He's kicked it out just. Well, the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch.
strong punch. And here's Messi. And Messi! Oh, extraordinary. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. And here's Suarez. Cleared away. He's had a look. Jordi Alba delivers. No, that's too long. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Helps available out wide. Beautifully done. Pamplona have a free kick. Some players have clearly taken issue here and things are threatening to boil over. Back into the middle. No, no way through there. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Spot is looking to run onto it. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Not much doubt that this will be played into the penalty area. Always going over the top. Longley battles to win it back. the wing whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick well that looks like a final warning still no card It's broken loose, has a hit! Get that clear. And the shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact.
Barcelona a class apart, opponents torn apart, they are comprehensive winners. So Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.